What's up, Castle Clash Hirsch here, and I've got a quick, mm, yeah, I'm going to say quick video for you guys. Um, yeah, so basically what happened is I had a guy contact me and donate a, uh, a few dollars to the cause, and he wanted to see some rolls and whatnot, and so here it is, Matthew 343 from Guild Aussie B Fights. Um, just uh, wanted to give a quick shout out to him and to thank you very much for the for the gems. Um, I am gonna go ahead and roll these gems, and then I am personally donating the ten dollars that he put into my account. I'm gonna donate to the Wounded Warrior Project. Like always, guys, if you send me money, whether it's for a guild shout out or anything like that, I'm gonna donate it right back to the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, obviously, use that money on my account and then donate to the Wounded Warrior Project my, well, with my own money. Um, so, guys, it's a good cause. The Wounded Warrior Project. I support it. I was a soldier. And uh, that's my thing. Yeah. So any money you give me is going straight to the Wounded Warrior Project. And uh, Or if you don't want to donate or if you don't want to send money to me, whether it's for a guild shout out or anything like that, you can always donate to the Wounded Warrior Project yourself and then um, send me proof of that donation and then I will add gems to my account. We'll do it in reverse, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. So he wanted to see some rolls, so let's go ahead and do some rolls. Uh, we got um, a champion, <laughs> gelatinous champion, that is. Um, I love them simply because that means more food for my pumpkin dude. We got uh, one five blade shell on him. I'm just looking for good talents, guys. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing crazy. And then uh, my goal right now is to get this pumpkin duke to uh, eight of nine. Um, my secondary goal is going to be to get as many of my backup legendaries up to three of nine um, but I'm gonna focus on my pumpkin duke first right now so let's go ahead and consume these guys and hit another roll see if we can find something good uh, looking for that emor tep to save me from having to finish this shard farming I mean I'll still do the, still do the competition of course if I roll an emor tep but yeah some more gelatinous champions what's up love them love them I actually would almost prefer to roll a, 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 a slime than I would to roll legendaries right now. How sad is that? Um, awesome stuff right there. Some good experience for my pumpkin duke. And top them off. There we go. Looks like we've got a couple more rolls worth. And lots of blue. And an assassin. All right. Cool stuff going on. I love, I love that I haven't gotten a green yet. That's a good sign. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. We've got 600 gems left. That's uh, either one more roll for heroes, or we could do two talent rolls. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll do the one more hero roll just because I would love to get that more tap right now. Um, See what we get. Ah, oh, I cursed myself. <laughs> Terrible. And last guy right there, Cyclops. What a curse. Let's take a look at her. I like this hero, uh, or the, this ordinary. Of all the ordinaries, this is my favorite. Especially after watching um, the dirty video about the Dryad versus T3 boss. That's awesome. I mean, anything that inflicts the coma is good stuff. So cool. Um, but unfortunately, I prefer <laughs> to feed my pumpkin duke, so we're going to go ahead and do that and see this executioner. I would love an executioner with a high revite. Absolutely would love it, because then I could do a video using a executioner as a T3 perma stunner. Um, that stun he does is great stuff. Great, great stuff. So there you have it, guys. A few rolls got done from that donation. Thank you so much for helping me on my way to get Pumpkin Duke to 8 of 9. Awesome stuff there. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, let's take one more look at his account. 5,000 might. What he told me was that he's free to play and he wants to stay free to play. And he had that card, so he wanted to send it my way. We got uh, the Druid there, Ninja, and Paladin. Awesome stuff. I'm looking at your base, and I'm curious why you're not doing a mini death box. Um, I'm seeing, you know, you got three towers. 
You've got plenty of stuff. Yeah, you know what you should do? You should do the death box from my... Who's talking to me? Nice. Awesome stuff, man. Good for you. Glad to hear that. And we got White Knight's boss fight in 30 minutes, so thank you, Overmind, for that. You should do the death box on my EU account. Um, it looks like we've got about the same... Uh, where is my... Somewhere... Uh, there it is. Boom. Should do this. We got about the same town hall, and I think this death box would do you some good. Um, so just a quick tip, try and copy this out, bro. I bet you you can get to that next level of, of uh, Town Hall, or the next level of Kirby Monsters by doing this. And uh, do you some good. And then I also recommend that you upgrade your Town Hall as soon as possible to get that fourth tower. Um, because that, that's going to help you out a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, you'd be really, truly surprised how much just having a fourth tower would help you. Also, if you're wanting to keep um, the enemy from opening up inside your base, I noticed you had a tiny square right there in between this mana vault and your heroes um, that would allow people to drop their heroes right inside your base already. So keep that in mind. You might want to plant uh, something inside there so that they can't reach. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys, for me from this video. Just doing some quick rolls. A quick update on my shard count for my Emortet challenge. Just past 5,000, almost 5,200. I bet you we can make that 5,200 right now. Let's see, what do we want to do? Dungeon 8, 37 shard dungeon. Hope for a drop. Here we go. Let's go. Um, boom, 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 boom. Drop the shield. Get ready for the frenzy. And go. They're off my favorite part. I always feel like they're in a race whenever they take off like that. Oh, we need to get heels down there. Poor Pumpkin Duke. Look at this. Look how fast they're going. 20 seconds. 21, 22, 23. Oh man, took longer than it should have. <laughs> 25 seconds. Oh, no drop. Sad day. Let's try that again. Boom, boom, boom. Back to the 37 shard dungeon. This is what I have been doing all day long for the last few days is just farming, farming, farming. Hitting these dungeons as fast, as often, as crazy as possible. Trying to get through them as quick. There they go. That's that race I was telling you about. Look at that. They just crazy moving. Yeah. What was that? 17 seconds? Woohoo! <laughs> no shards though. Oh, I don't know if I've got enough to grab both of these. No. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, one more time. Pray for that drop. Here we go. Let's see if I can beat 17 seconds. That was a good one. Boom, 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 boom. Shield. Yikes. Oh, good. I clipped them. The bad news is that I might not be able to drop this to get them all. Did I? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Here we go. This one is not going to be near as fast as the last one. Oh, it's because I lost Pumpkin Duke. Yuck, I never lose Pumpkin Duke. Never lose anybody. What, what went wrong? Come on, keep Thunder God. Too late. Oh, terrible. It happens all the time, guys. Make mistakes somehow. I don't know. It's all right. Life will go on. Thanks, Terry. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I want those shards, so here we go. Gonna do G, guaranteed shards, unless some crazy fluke accident happens that I can't imagine happening, so we should be good to go. Bum, bum, bum. This is the only part about Here Be Monsters I don't like, is the very first wave just always seems like it's gonna take forever. Why does that druid always do that? Right there. Never does him any good, and he never does it on any other base, or like any other Here Be Monster I run. I never, ever get a hero attacking right there, except for this Druid on G1 all the time. Such a strange concept. I don't, I don't know. He never makes it through, and when he does, he dies real fast right after. And, yeah, I just, I just guess I just don't understand it.
Oh, Pumpkin Duke proc too soon. It's okay, he'll be charged up and ready to proc right at the beginning of the next round, thanks to that. Yeah, from here on out, it'll be pretty quick because they're going to just feed straight into my base. They're not going to be having to go take out exterior buildings yet. So here we go. This is this is where it gets quick, and I love it. Just all going to feed straight in there. Yeah. Go get them, boys. Do we have any girls out there? Oh, they are on Spirit Mage. If you count Spirit Mage as a girl. A lot, a lot of people do. Tell me, guys. Why do you think Spirit Mage is a boy or a girl? I think uh, San 7 calls her her. I typically call it a girl. Um, what do you guys think? Boy or girl for Spirit Mage? I, I'm curious what the general consensus on that one is. And in they come. This one will be nice and quick. That ninja always just feeds my guys, gets their energy bars up, makes them proc, then... A Cupid gets going, and then everybody gets going after Cupid gets going, and that's the goal. G5 should be easy business. I was about to say I haven't lost any buildings, but I did lose that one gold mine. Come on, Pumpkin Duke. Yeah, Thunder God's proc right on that dino. Gotta love it when that happens. There he goes again. Yes. No heroes lost, only a couple buildings. That's not bad stuff. Some pretty good experience, especially considering I got gold in one of them. I got... Oh, guild members talking. All right. So that's it for me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and bounce out of here. Thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. I'll show your base one more time. Um, thanks for your donation to the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And then... Uh, yeah, guys, if you want me to give you a little shout-out like that or a guild shout-out or a YouTube shout-out or anything of the sorts, you're feel free to do the same thing. Either donate to the Wounded Warrior Project and prove to me that you donated to them, or you can send me uh, you, uh, PayPal or Google Play gift cards or anything like that, and I'll donate whatever money that comes in um, to the uh, Wounded Warrior Project. Minimum of $15 for the, for the shout-outs. Um, otherwise, if you want a shout-out, you can wait in line. I've got a line on line chat. Yes, you can, in a bit. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, you can get it done for free if you wait in that line. But I've got a lot of requests, so that line might take a bit. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm out. Thanks again, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Good luck on the uh, giveaway competition for my 1,000 subscriber video. And have a good night.